Another rare fish hunter depends on the safe breeding and rich hunting grounds of the Amur River's Thousand Islands. The red-crowned or Manchurian crane has been revered as a symbol of happiness and long life by many cultures in the Far East. China's emperors protected the crane as a national bird. Today, wild red-crowned cranes breed on the Russian and Chinese sides of the Amur Basin. On the Chinese side, the Tai Chi crane dance recalls a time when the elegant birds would delight observers with their spring courtship on the frozen wetlands. Today, the cranes delight more people than ever. Each morning, crane wardens arrive at the famous Zhelong Wetland Reserve on the fringe of the vast Songhua wetlands. They're working to keep red-crowned cranes from going extinct in China. Their habitat may not be particularly pristine, but a few will get released. And they may join wild flocks already nesting in the reserve. Meanwhile, Shalong is the best place in China to watch cranes. Twice a day, at set hours and for a fee, busloads of enthusiastic nature lovers do just that. That was it.